Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Sunday, June 19th, 2016. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, we have aspects of the Vinavanov Oversoul. Play seems to have passed to the Oversoul level, but the assignment hasn't changed at all. The assignment is to do what is ours to do in all dimensions to manifest the divine plan, the data clearly showing that without significant uh, support from larger levels, uh, that the divine plan won't manifest at this level. Uh, however, there are worlds within worlds, and therefore we can work to manifest the divine plan for the smaller levels, the smaller subatomic levels, and then perhaps something will shift in the larger levels, and more will be possible. Start where we are, use what we have, do what we can. So for the current period of time, our assignment is to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions to manifest the divine plan for the smaller subatomic. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Someone's asking me what I notice, and I'm not sure what aspect of self they're speaking to, but I can answer it for myself, whoever the speaker is. That's is true. I notice that, uh, like all the other levels, that this level of oversoul presence wants to feel that their level is unique and different That's and true. better than those who have come before and that there, there isn't really data to support that, but that that is what this level wants to hold on to. That's true. And I notice a reluctance to merge with the body. Um, ew, gross, uh, dirty body. That's true. Uh, so l that's, a, that's a significant stumbling block because if body and soul don't come together, there's not an effective team. No, that's true. So let's just uh, feel the vibration of the uh, souls in one hand, whatever they are, just, just to hold the vibration of the souls in one hand and hold the vibration of the body in another hand. And given that we only have two physical hands, I think we should use the two physical hands. And whatever those vibrations are, uh, is what they are. And to gradually draw the hands together and see how they get along, basically. Gradually draw the hands together and see what actually occurs. Are these vibrations harmonious? So far it feels like there have been a whole lot worse. I actually, when I actually pay attention to it, I see no problem. And I'm looking at it from the perspective of the soul. You may be looking at it from the perspective of the body. That's what that was. Oh yeah, from the perspective of the soul, this looks... This looks good. Really good. This looks good. Really good. I guess I was being queasy for no good reason. That's true. Now I kind of feel like a... Like a loser. For being I feel so like weenie a about it. I feel like a bigot. That's true. I see that that was some kind of um, prejudice. That's true. Yeah, I was prejudiced. Mm -hmm. I am prejudiced. Mm -hmm. But look now that. that I actually look at it, this vibration is fine, and it it isn't. It <laughs> I can tell that it isn't lower than the vibration of the soul. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that it's mid-range but uh, in the vibration of the soul, but I know that that doesn't feel true. So, but it's definitely not lower than the soul. And what else do I notice? I notice that the energy body of the Vinavanov Oversoul has that long and lean look that many of the Vinavanovs as individuals have, and that's not surprising. That's true. And the challenge is to keep straight. And how we do that is by looking up. And I see a hand waving way up high, probably uh, our loose, the one they call our loose. That's true, that's who it looks like. Hi. Ooh. I, I think it's 
possible that we're on to something with our theory this morning that our loose also has the spam assignment. That's true. Sale, purchase, and move. Whatever physical presence he's inhabiting right now has the assignment to sell one home, purchase another, and move. That's true. Just as these smaller subatomic presences have the spam assignment, sell, purchase, and move, which I guess makes sense. We would align with those who have similar assignments, or we would be aligned, aligned with, um, with those who have similar assignments. That makes sense. All right. Well, let's draw up the right buyers uh, from the smaller subatomic into those at this level whose soul plans have them buying uh, this sanctuary, this particular sanctuary, and so for our loose to do the same. That's true. And for us to draw those smaller subatomic levels through all of us, higher, higher, higher. <coughs> it feels like a like a bow string, like stringing a bow, an archer's bow. That's true. We see how these smaller subatomic presences are all supposed to sell, purchase, and move. That's true. Interesting. And the trick is to do it appropriately, do it properly. Sell to the right buyers <laughs> and buy the right place. That's true. Big crown opening feelings. And also shakedown feelings, like big things are falling off the walls of the pillar. I hear that. And to our loose up there to say, that one, that one that just seems so unlikely, that's the one. That's the one. Which to me feels as though it's his purchase decision, not his That's sale true. decision. I could be wrong. That's true. But if we don't know what our intended purchase is, then when the sale offer comes, we feel unprepared and scared, and therefore we don't do what's ours to do to draw in a sale offer. That's true. We have to know where we're headed. It can't be just some amorphous, we'll sell this and move somewhere. <laughs> that's true. Well, it can, but that's not an effective stance for energy work. We'll hold back. That's true. That's the reality of sentience. Loose that one, that, that one, one, that, that one. one. I know he just keeps saying it just seems so unlikely, and I agree it does, but that's the one, that one, right there. Right it's there. straight up. It's directly on the soul plan, directly on the life path, directly on the central axis. That's the one right that's there. That's it. That's it. At least in a thought experiment, step into it right now. Right, see, it's perfect. That's the one. He says... It doesn't make any sense. Well, often we don't know what's coming our way. We don't know what life has in store for us right around the bend. That's true. And so it might not make, he's getting it, he yeah. might not make sense today, but just uh, project forward. What might happen in order for this to make sense? And then just feel for the potential for that to happen. I think he's on to it now. That's true. He says, oh, geez, you're, you're right. Oh, geez. And he says, well, I need to do other things to prepare. That's true. That's, that seems true. And he mm. says, well, then if this is right, then this also must be right. This other thing must also be right. Which and is that also true. Which is also true. And that other thing must also be right. That's correct. That's true. Those are all true. And that other thing must also be right. That's, That's correct. True. And that other thing, now he's got it, must also be right. Yes, those are That's all correct. True. And there's more. It's like a spiraling out. That's all true. of those thoughts are correct. That's it. That's it. Now you're on the central axis again. That's what's actually true. That's what's real. That's it right there. Presumably it's something inconvenient. Oh, so yeah. That's how we are. We don't want to see the inconvenient realities. That's true. All of us. I'd like to acknowledge that he does seem to be the only uh, individuated presence from that level who's still in the game. That's true. And that every, in every other respect, place seems to have passed to the oversoul level. That's true. There's a lot of sadness about that. Yeah, I 
also feel the sadness. But I don't feel a whole lot of doubt about it. No, it doesn't feel like doubt, doesn't feel like argument. No, just really sad. At least there's one. Let's be happy that there's one. Rock on loose. The other aspects of the loose soul do not seem to still have a card. Does that mean all those other soul presences are absorbed into oversouls? All who are willing, maybe. There might be some on the lamb. (laughs) That's true. Some AWOL souls. There are some AWOL souls. Some on the lamb hiding out in angry pockets. That's true. What now? Very very specifically, specifically, in order to live live these soul soul plans right right here. here. What now? Very specifically, in order to manifest the divine plan for the smaller subatomic. What now? Well, draw up those resistant souls of ours. Of those our are our own our lower own. souls. We have the right, and some might say the responsibility, to tend the energy of our soul stream. That's true. And who's going to do this if not us? N- nobody. Nobody. I see those pockets of um, twisted reality that those lower loose souls, or lower souls of loose had sunk into all those looses who were here at one point in time and then wandered off and then they kind of sunk into pockets of twisted thinking that's true that's what we're drawing up right now because those souls have so much promise so much potential and they're so sensitive to untruths that it doesn't make any sense to let them rot where there's too much untruth. What makes sense is to deliver them to where the air is clear and they can be of service to spirit again. That's true. Bubbles of delusion. We're popping bubbles of delusion. That's true. And releasing them and drawing them up in a wave. Now let's try once more to draw tight the proper buyers, the buyers who are supposed to buy this particular property and to do that at all levels. Loose, loose, you do it too. And to be aware that if we are thinking of purchasing the wrong property, there'll be a gentle hand of spirit keeping buyers away from our property here because we would be getting ready to make a mistake. That's true. And until we're aligned with where we're supposed to jump to, to where we're supposed to jump, the buyers won't come. That's true. And of the available houses that fit the specs at any point in time, to attempt to discern which is the best fit, which one would we put an offer on first? That's true. And right now, bizarrely, it's the older, smaller, less nice house. But that's the right house. That is true. And it seems to be true for Luce also. It's the older, smaller, less less nice nice house. house. But that's the right house, Luce. He feels much more peaceful with that idea now. That's true. Calmer. Yes. We need to really rubber band this in or bind yes. in the, the buyers. It's the buyers who are supposed to buy this place. I wonder if to them this is the older, smaller, less nice house. It might be. It might be. It might be. Oh. And I'm going to try to not get huffy about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> How dare, How dare you? you? Okay, so let's draw That's in true. all of us who are buying the older, older smaller, smaller, less nice, nice house. Houses. Well, that actually feels really good. With more land. Ah! More land. That's what we're doing. We're buying an older, smaller, less nice house with more land. Yes. There's another head opening feeling. All of us who are supposed to buy an older, an older smaller, smaller, less nice, nice house. With more land with more land to search for truth central axis how are we exactly like these people that we see making crazy decisions of not moving on both of those examples that were just mentioned that's true are people who are 
refusing to look at inconvenient realities so that they can avoid moving on. That's How are we exactly so like them? them? Let's align with the group of all of us all who are refusing to look at inconvenient realities so that we can avoid moving on and tune to increase our willingness to do what is ours to do right now and to move forward in life. Well, I see what's missing. What's missing is the step of finding something to love. It is all of our jobs as sentiences to find how to think about the assignments that are given to us so that we can come to love them. If the assignment is to move to a certain place and live in a certain way, then to look for the gifts of living in that place in that certain way and come to love it. That's, That's our true. job. Nobody can change our attitudes for us but us. To take control of our attitudes and be responsible, we can do it. That's true. Asha used to get the assignments of making a list of 77 gifts of the situation and it was kind of a race if she could come up with the full list of 77 before her heart burst open in gratitude uh, she would win <laughs> but true. she would actually win because her heart would burst open in gratitude on the way to the 77th item that's true Let's make a list. 77 gifts of the situation. All of us.